Lucky Boys Podcast. Now, you said that mm. you worked with uh, MC Jin before? Uh-huh, yeah. He directed something you were working on? Uh-huh, yes. What was it like working show. with him? Oh, he's so cool. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so, I legit stalked my way <laughs> into him working with me. Uh, at the time, it was 2000. 15 going on to 16 and he was pursuing stand-up in new york and so i went to the gotham comedy club where he was showcasing his bits i had my script in a yellow folder i ran up to him after the whole thing ended i was like hey i really liked you as a rapper i saw you growing up i really admire you if for any reason you want to read my script and work together, let me know. And I included all my contact and he was like, yeah, just DM me or email me. And he resonated a lot with the script. Mm -hmm. And it's about a China, Chinatown teenage girl learning what it means to become a woman. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of bits in there that was super funny and very relatable for folks growing up in Chinatown. But for the movie version, it's completely different because of the limited resources that we had. He directed a short. Oh, it was a solo show, like a live performance, the a one-woman oh. show. Yeah. yeah, so I like... I did. Wait, so oh. you pitched it to him? Uh-huh. Because Oh, shoot. You did like the groupie thing, but... <laughs> but, not, <laughs> but not sleep with them. But oh, I didn't sleep to, with to, him. To, no. to, 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 <laughs> to, determined woman, to, but she got to him. To, holy crap, yeah. props. Fearless, fearless. Yeah. So you, you went up to him like, hey, and you presented what you had. Mm -hmm. like you, and, and, and he actually gave you a shot and was like, yeah, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll support it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, it was it was a live one person show. I uh, yeah, we worked together during rehearsal, and I think right after that, he went back to China and he was pursuing uh, TV and film there. Oh, right. this is before he left for Hong Kong. Yeah, uh -huh. he became oh, really okay. big in Hong yeah, Kong. Yeah, he became. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh wow, damn, he's a. Mm. I didn't know. I didn't know he was a director. Him. I didn't know he directed. Yeah. So well, I saw his comedy and. I was like, oh, he knows where beats should be. Because as a person who wrote it, I the would timing, feel like right? I would... Yeah. The comedic beats, you mean. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And I just felt like he would shed so much light. And he did. Um, and there was this part that was super serious. <laughs> and he was like, oh, maybe if you add something right here, it will make it like funny. And I did it. And people were like dying <laughs> in the theater. it broke the tension in the room. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he is a very talented director as well. And we also worked together in a short film that he wrote mm -hmm. and also directed that we submitted for HBO. Oh, God. HBO, if you're watching this, cut this out. <laughs> Uh-oh. I was working for a PR company on the uh -huh. side as a side hustle. And they were putting together this thing called the H HBO APA Visionaries Competition, uh -huh. where they pitch one or two words. And you have to make a short film about that. And so MC Jin, he wrote a script. And I, uh, so the PR firm I was working on, the guy it was gonna be a producer on the thing and i was like and he also knew mc jins so i was like yo if you and mc jins doing this if i'm producing this too i need to get in on it or something yeah. so i got like a small part in it and then the hbo people they're like hold up a second don't she work for that pr company mm -hmm. that put together this competition so she knew the theme of it before he even started Ooh. and they disqualified the film and i was like yo i did not talk to mc Jin right. at all when he wrote the script when he put together all this oh. thing i came in later on oh, what yeah that's Gosh. so fucked up and i felt so bad i apologize like a thousand times i get why hbo would though. do that right mm -hmm. i mean because they don't know right i mean but damn right the legal department because i was working with them on asian american film festival stuff like resizing the image and all that so i was in communication with them and they know my face so they're like hold up a second mm -hmm. <laughs> who's this lady right here we got a ringer <laughs> we got a ringer I know. so what was mad. jen's reaction to that he was like, oh it's all good what yeah Ah. Wow. Well, I mean, what, was it submitted uh, elsewhere? Where, yeah, where did it you could pitch be it seen? anyone? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was okay, shown cool. in film okay. festivals too. Okay. So it okay. wasn't a bad thing. Did, what, did, did Jin try to push back at HBO? Like, hey, I really mm. didn't like to try to stay, make a case for it? Or 
he was just like, you know what, we'll, we'll keep it moving to somewhere else. Uh, I actually do not know, but he's a very big and forgiving person, so I think he probably would be like, yeah, you know what, it's okay. And he dope. did release it online mm. for a little bit, but it's down. Some guy from China, though, pirate hit the film. <gasps> what? Oh, because <laughs> uh, he's MC Jin. And it's yeah, are you surprised? Like, Come on. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. Jin, Jin's acting in it, right? Uh, yeah, he was the lead in oh, it. Oh, so of course, yeah. okay, of course, sense. you know, some, yeah. maybe a fan. You were saying like he wrote it you and know. he directed it, so I was like, oh, okay. and starred in it, and starred. Damn, mm-hmm. okay, yeah. So and edited. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is like my film, actually. <laughs> yeah, I had. Oh God, I don't even want to go into this, but there's a lot of things that goes mm-hmm. into indie filmmaking. Like you said earlier, you have to find people who are equally as passionate as you are. You have oh, to. You yeah, have you to. have to. Otherwise, you you're so continuing. Parts, yeah. That's a that's a tough lesson I had to learn because I was mm-hmm. constantly, um, you know, at times I felt like the bad guy. Uh huh. You know, and and I knew I wasn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, I I knew we were visibly behind on everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's just if other people aren't taking the craft seriously, if this mm-hmm. is just like eh, I just want to see what this is, mm-hmm. versus hey i really want to make something i want to like make this i'm real passionate about this project Mm -hmm. and they're not just saying words they really they're putting action their actions are passionate Mm -hmm. and they have a lot of energy it's going to reinvigorate everyone Mm -hmm. around them Mm -hmm. and then you get the opposite of that where it just drains everyone constantly having and you're the one you know if you're naturally positive you constantly have to put everyone on your back and and pull right 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 and it shouldn't be like that you guys Mm -hmm. should all elevate each other right when you have meet people of the same energy that's how you thrive Mm -hmm. yeah birds of a feather Mm -hmm. and i i I feel like once i became very strict with that Mm -hmm. even though it meant that i needed to be alone Mm -hmm. yes that's the key thing Mm -hmm. you have Mm -hmm. to be comfortable being alone and that's extremely difficult you feel like it's impossible Mm -hmm. but then as you keep moving independently you realize that birds of a feather flock together Mm -hmm. you will find others like you Mm -hmm. just as truly passionate along the way Mm -hmm. and you guys you'll find people that you just kind of like just like a puzzle piece you guys just Mm -hmm. fit together Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you guys can take it from there and build and as you are along those journey you're going to meet other puzzle pieces Mm -hmm. that fit in and you're going oh my gosh where are all these and, and you start so now your circle you guys got all the bs people out mm-hmm. and, you, and you're making room for all these amazing new people mm-hmm. that's like really about this mm-hmm. so that that's that's a tough lesson that i had to learn it took me over a decade to get that mm. so yeah ha- so basically like you need to be around huh. other like-minded people that's how we all grow being with mm-hmm. other like-minded people we all inspire each other and then that's how you network and you meet other people who can raise your you know interest your group or support you up, up higher and then that's how you continue moving forward.